And now for something completely different. Welcome everybody to another episode of Havoc TV. Today, um, there's no AKA Mickey, AKA the Rambler. We do miss him. He's taken some time out. I'm just Nawal for today. Welcome to my interview with someone who's um, driving something a little different to what we used to. Um, Hugo, welcome. Hi. Thank you. Awesome stuff. So today, we're here just to chat about you, the vehicle you chose. So today, what are you driving? Tell us. Uh, it's a 2010 Prado V6. Uh, yeah, it's about 12 years old, almost. Scary. Jeeves. The last <laughs> time we had a conversation, it was about Clash of Clans, an online game. <laughs> yes. Today, we're talking about another love of ours, which is your vehicle. Yes. So why exactly did you choose a Prado? Um, I've had a few vehicles before and um, most have been SUVs. Uh, I've had a few smaller vehicles as well. Uh, I've had a Golf 3, uh, a Sherrod as well. Oh, wow. If you can believe <laughs> it with my size. <laughs> it's um, the wow. <laughs> Uh, and then at some point I decided okay, well, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger. I got myself a uh, GP8, uh, as green as you can get. And then um, yeah, unfortunately the wife wasn't too keen on the V8. Yeah, I tend uh, to I tend to hear that quite often. The wife was not too happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you you try and you try and make everybody comfortable and everybody happy with with what you're driving yes so you've driven quite a few cars yes uh, out of them what was your what was the favorite ones you've driven uh i must have been probably the jeep uh and then this one um the jeep was incredibly powerful um but like i said unfortunately <coughs> the government talked oh uh, no so yeah they're... so you say powerful what do you mean powerful what was the do you remember the kilowatts it did the the jeep was around about the same as this one uh so it's 210 uh but the difference is uh, obviously weight um the jeep was about uh, 400 kilos lighter than this uh prado um which oh, is wow <laughs> makes a huge difference you're going to turn a yeah. light at the traffic right. light. Yeah. Okay. So, the Jeep in this one was your is your favorite? Yes. So, what about this one makes it your favorite? Space. Um, as you know, I'm not, again, not the smallest person in the, the world. So, yeah, this being a, a nice big vehicle with a lot of space. Uh, and then, yeah, 4 by 4 Obviously, for for those times that you want to go to some faraway places. Do you off-road with it? Yes. Oh, um, nice. I've had a few off-roads with it um, and uh, taken my trailer with as well, which again, this being a big, heavy vehicle with a strong enough power plant, uh, obviously uh, no issues getting, getting to those faraway places. So is your car still stock standard or have you done anything with it? No, it's, it's uh, been modified a bit. Um, so I've removed all the uh, cats. Okay. Uh, I am yet to do a, oh, uh, I'm yet to do a free flow. Uh, at the moment it still has its stock silencer. And then again, it's been lifted as well. Um, so again, helping with the little getting off to those smaller places. <laughs> okay. So you, you, your exhaust is quite quiet. Is that something you want to keep? Trust me, I'm saying this because <laughs> I know the men out there, everything's got to be loud. So, so, <laughs> so that's the thing. At the moment, it, as you can hear, it's relatively tame. But the moment that you do get onto power, it does uh, have a nice little throaty uh, chatter. Um, it's, uh, unfortunately, I'll, I'll give it a, a whirl a little bit later on. 
obviously not in these terms. Because <laughs> again, uh, yeah, this being a big heavy vehicle, obviously not, not the quickest round corners. Um, yeah, well, you get some little ones that's also d d not able to take these bends like they should, <laughs> but we won't go there. Um, it, it is what it is, you know, you get some Opal drivers, well, sorry, Opal guys, but you do get some Opals as well. You get some um, Ford, some Audis that also can't take certain <laughs> bends. I drive an Audi, so, but I, yeah, mine can take a bend. I'm quite proud of it. But yeah. <laughs> so what else have you done? Um, yeah, so as I said, uh, obviously I, I pull a trailer, so I had to have a uh tow bar attached and i think that's about it uh, a few mods that i still want to do but yeah for now uh unfortunately money doesn't allow for all the wonderful things i'm looking at yes you know when you start when you start wanting to make a few change i'll say a few changes <laughs> <laughs> the money does seem to talk but um so, so you say you want to do some more things to the vehicle, right? Yeah. What kind of things are you wanting to do? Um, so, uh, more power. Yes. Oh, of course. No power, no modifier is ever enough. Mm. Um, so, I've been looking at a few uh, supercharger tests. Uh, unfortunately, those are quite expensive. Yeah. And otherwise, yeah. Uh, me being a typical man, uh, bigger tires. Uh, oh, definitely. Always. <laughs> uh, but again, yeah, the, at the moment, practicality doesn't allow for for those bigger tires. Well, it depends, eh? Um, do you do you use the vehicle on a day to day basis? So, uh, being COVID, uh, luckily not. Unfortunately, lot um, depending on on which day of the month it is. <laughs> um, is your fuel consumption heavy? It is. It is unfortunately, but these these big V6s they they tend to not be light on fuel. Uh, I think it's got a 130 liter fuel tank, and I don't get to a thousand k's. So yeah, quite expensive. Wow. But again, That's... being lead footed also probably doesn't help. Yeah, but then again, I mean, you know, you buy a car for a reason. You you don't buy the car to actually just drive Miss Daisy, if I should put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I get teased a lot about the fuel consumption. Um, but uh, it's one of those things you, you cry when you pay it. Yes. And then you leave with a small. Oh, definitely. Uh, so yeah, no, I enjoy I enjoy my truck. <laughs> so I'm sure you surprise people on the road when you're driving this huge thing, and people tend to look at it. It's an SUV. I can take you. Yeah, the the look the it's taken well. It's taken a few cars. Look, obviously, it's not going to take a, a properly uh, souped up car. GTRs no, you, and these things. You're but, obviously going to choose your battles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it does surprise people. Um, quite a few people have. Turn off the left. No, no, no. Go carry on. Right. Uh, By the traffic light, you're going to turn right. Okay. Um, so. I've had a few friends who uh, kind of were surprised at the amount of power that the thing this thing has yeah. um, where they think oh, it's a big heavy vehicle it's slow it's a four by four and then you suddenly can go and do that turn right here uh, just to not necessarily blow their minds but definitely make the ride enjoyable So, I mean, so when you take her out on the road mm -hmm. um, or when you go on the 4 by 4 as an example, yeah. what's that drive like? I mean, there's obviously a difference between 
what it does on the actual road versus yes. you taking it off road. So that that's probably one of the big reasons I, I chose this of a lot of the other vehicles that you get. Um, I mean, off road it is supremely comfortable. You have no issues getting where you need to, and um, you can do it at, at obviously not insane speeds, but again, decent speeds. Um, so, if you want to look around, you can. Um, this is, again, it is a proper four by four, so you've got low range. Um, but if you want to actually get on and go late for a gate or whatever, you. Uh, can mow down down. So if if I should ask you this question, right? So you've you've mentioned you you've driven a Jeep. Yes. So the Jeeps are normally the ones that you will now say, okay, those are the off-roaders, those are the ones that you take out. Uh -huh. If you look at the Prado and, and I mean if you look at this baby, <laughs> you wouldn't really compare the Jeep to the Prado because it's not seen in that manner? No. Uh, so if, so if you compare that two from an off-roading perspective, which which of the two would you actually choose more? So for pure off-road, the Jeep. Uh, Why? Look, the Jeep is definitely set up a lot more for uh, going off-road. Okay. Um, being softer suspension, uh, a little bit higher, uh, it's got solid, solid front and rear axles, so it's incredible capable off-road. Um, it definitely, as much as I love this truck, uh, I also know it's it's a lot better. Uh, not a lot, it is cap more capable off-road. It's going to get you to uh, those level five off-road routes uh, a lot easier than this one would. But one of the other reasons I like this one is it may not go all those level fives <laughs> um, but it's also not where I want to go necessarily. Yes. Um, I've, I've gone past the, the time where I need to prove to others that I can go off road. Um, I can take my family with this vehicle, I can get there, they'll be comfortable, won't get car sick. Um, whereas with the Jeep, because of it having softer suspension, it tends to drive like a boat on highway speeds or at highway speeds um, straight straight it definitely does make a lot more power as I said for the weight um, so in a straight line it it pulls a lot of vehicles uh, in the V8 I actually pull the GTI oh wow um, but the problem was just don't take a bend in that one it really <laughs> was a case of no taking bends. <laughs> Be careful on those bends. Yes. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Guys, please don't forget. Please share, like, and subscribe. Tune into our, our, our TV channel. Please don't forget to comment as well. Um, it's been great. Thank you for all the support. I re we really, really do appreciate it. Just wanted to remind you about that, okay? So, Let's get back to you. Yes. So Hugo, if there was anything that if you had all the money in the world to actually do something special with your Prado, what yeah. would that be? Um, <laughs> I would probably get a, a proper diamond uh, treatment at Havoc. <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> so, just the, di just, the, just the detailing package. There's nothing more that you'd ever want to do um, differently? No. I, as I said, okay, money, no object, yes. Supercharger, definitely. Uh, I'd really like a supercharger. Um, the free flow exhaust, I'm still kind of in two minds. Um, Why would you be in two minds? Um, Besides the price, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, as I said, the, the, that's, the thing that's nice about the Prado, uh, as it is now, is, like I said, it's, it's quiet when I want it to be. Yes. Um, but 
it's got a little bit of get up and go, well, a little bit of sound uh, when I wanted to have. Uh, uh, so. So you've got the best of both worlds, yes. basically, as 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 is. Yes. So that's why, like I said, I, I kind of just want to. I'll look at at the, the different options because I know that that there's some some nice switchable options. Yes. Uh, where you can have a, a free flow on the one side and proper silencer. Um, so maybe one of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's probably the most thing. Suspension, there's, again, always a swing suspension. Um, some nice air suspension would be nice to kind of get this rock hard when you want to go yes. around corners. And then soft when I want to actually go off-road. If I were to say to you tomorrow, you can actually get, you can keep the Prado mm -hmm. and you can have a second car. What would that, what would that car be? Huh. Uh, I've thought of this many times. <laughs> um, uh, probably RS7. Um, I really do like the RS7s. Uh, the, the big problem for me is, as I said, I've, I've had some mates with nice, nice sports cars. And unfortunately, <laughs> I'm in the difficult position that with my almost two meter frame, I don't, I don't fit in most of them. Um, I've had, well, I've had mates with Cobras, Porsches, um, and I, as much as I love those, yes. unfortunately I don't <laughs> fit. At the traffic light you're going to turn left, so we're going back to the warehouse. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's unfortunately, uh, the RS7s I know that obviously being a, a slightly more, not necessarily the sportiest of cars, uh, but it is a nice car. It's got enough grunt. And um, I like sleepers. Uh, I, I really do like sleepers. They, I like the idea of getting people's, up into people's uh, nose when uh, <laughs> they don't expect it. Surprise! Yes. <laughs> well, guys, um, thank you again for tuning in to Havoc TV. It's been date. Please, again, don't forget to comment below, like, share and subscribe. Thank you again for all your support. Um, Hugo, thank you to you for actually coming out and meeting with us and chatting to us about your little baby. <laughs> well, not little, but yeah, your baby. Guys, thanks again for tuning in to Havoc TV. It's been great. Um, then hopefully Mickey will be back soon as well. Um, and yeah, please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Hugo, thank you to you for joining us on our TV channel. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys again soon. This is Havoc TV. Completely, Completely disruptive. disruptive.